hometown. I'm Greg. Um, most of you know me. I'm with Adaptive Adventures in the central office and Monica is helping me. She's also from the central office. And we have an intern, Brooke, joining us, I see. So thank you, Brooke, for joining us. Uh, so today we're gonna be doing a little bit of everything. We're gonna do some exercises from the seating position uh, without our anchor, then we'll move on to our anchor. And then we'll split up uh, into two groups as usual at the end where we can do either upper body with Monica or lower body with myself. So before we get going, let's do our usual warm up routine. We're gonna start at our head and work our way down. So we're just gonna do some head revolutions, pick away counterclockwise or clockwise, it's up to you. But let's do 10 revolutions, nice and slow. Work out the kinks. And reverses. All right, next, let's get our shoulders and traps going. Forward sh uh, rolls, shoulder rolls. Let's go nice and big, real slow. Our shoulders are gonna be very active today, so we wanna warm those up very well. And, and reverse it. All right, next we're gonna do a little um, exercise slash stretch for a rotator cuff. So I want you to do, let your arms hang down on the side, then act like you're drawing a gun, like you're a cowboy. Both hands, you don't have to do this. Uh, keep that, this forces you to keep those elbows in. So keep your elbows in and now just go out and back in, touch your hands and out but you want to keep these elbows next to your body. None of this. We're just going to do about 10, nice and easy. Try to go a little bit further each time. <clears throat> these are internal and external rotations. Very slight move, but very effective. You can also do this with the bands, with resistance, if you do have any rotator cuff issues. This can help. A couple more. All right. Now, let me get everybody to put your hands in front of you straight out. No bend at the elbow. Hands together like you're diving into the pool. Now we're just going to open up big past your back and back together like a giant clap. I do a slight pause at the very end to hold that, flex that back, and back together. So loosen up our back, our chest, our shoulders. Now I just want you to open up one side and follow with your head the side you're opening. So this is an example. I'm going to open up my right all the way back turning my trunk and then back to the middle and then the other way going to the left oh definitely hear some cracking it's a good stretch for the lower back do a couple more each way last one to the right Last one to the left. All right. Next, we'll just do a little tricep stretch and then a bicep stretch and we'll be ready to go. So for the tricep stretch, raise one hand. I got my right up in the air. 
bend it at the elbow and let it hang behind your head, right down your spine. Take your opposite hand and just slightly push down on the elbow. Just keep pushing it down, push that hand down your spine and hold. And opposite arm, straight up, bend at the elbow, drop it behind your head, slide that hand down your spine, nice push down. All right, and our last stretch is for the biceps. Stick your palm out forward. Like you're high-fiving me on the screen. Now turn that hand upside down. And with your other hand, lightly pull that back on your fingers. Just keep pulling back nice and easy. You don't have to force it. You should feel a stretch in your forearm. You should feel a light stretch in your bicep. And we're holding it. All right, and other hand. High five, flip the hand, pull back on the fingers. That's what it looks like from the side. All right. All right, shake those arms out and we're gonna get going here. So the first exercise I'm using my middle band. For me, it's the green one. For you, I'm not sure everyone has a different set or most of you have the same set, but it's different from mine. So just pick an easier band because for this first one, we don't want a ton of weight. We're gonna use our feet as an anchor. So if you are new, this is what that means. Just standing on the middle of the band. So I want you to do that. My feet are maybe 10 inches apart, if that. And all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this grip right here, right below the buckles. It's a little uncomfortable if you hold the buckle, so I like to grip it. But right on the black part, you might have something else there, but just underneath the, the metal carabiner. And from here, my arms are gonna be straight. You don't want any bend because then you're working a different muscle than what we're trying to do. I'm sitting comfortably 90 degree back, knees. And all we're going to do is raise those hands up. We're going to raise them to about the shoulder height and back down to our knees. So from knees to shoulders. All right, let's try about 10 of these together. Nice and slow. This move works better if it's controlled and you don't want a ton of weight. Two more. All right, and rest. We're gonna go back to that one, but we're gonna do four exercises, um, one after the other, and then we're gonna do this, this set of four one more time. So we'll go back to that one, keep this band to the side. Now I'm gonna switch to a slightly heavier band. I'm gonna go with my second heaviest band, which is the blue one for me. You can use the same one you had, uh, it it'll work too. And this time we're using our back as an anchor point. So this is what I'm doing. If you have a chair back, you can also wrap it around the chair back, up to you. You're gonna get all the slack here. I want you to use this grip, just like that. So I'm gripping the band, band is right under my armpits and I'm grabbing it right by the chest. And then from here, all we're gonna do is str strain out our elbow. 
So fist by the shoulders. And now we're just straighten out the elbow. The upper body, the upper arm is still. We're just extending the elbow and bringing it back in. And you should feel this muscle right here, the tricep. That's what we want. This is a tricep extension. Good move to tone the back of your arms. Let's try 10 of these together and begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right. Next, I'm going to go to my lightest band. For me, it's yellow. I think it might be yellow for you too. All right. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to sit on my band just like that. You can put it under your chair too. Um, sitting works just fine. And I have my thumbs out to the sides and I'm gripping the band in between where I'm sitting on it and the buckle. So right here in the middle. Thumbs are out, elbows locked straight. And now we're just gonna go up to the side with those arms into a T and back down. Don't go back down all the way because you lose all your slack. So I just want you to go back to about 45 degrees here and up, keeping that tension the entire time. Here we're working our shoulders and the traps. You could probably feel that in your upper back, lower neck. Let's try 10 of these together. One. Two, three, four, five, six, and last one, and ten. All right, probably feeling a, a slight burn there, which is good. Now for the fourth exercise, I'm gonna to go to my heaviest band because I want a lot of tension here. I want my muscles working hard. So probably try to go a little bit heavier on this one. You don't have to go the thickest band like I am. And you can also swap it out if it's too hard. But the move we're gonna do, I want you to hold the band straight in front of you about shoulder length apart. Yeah, roughly a foot and a half or so here. Uh, I'm going to raise it above my head. I'm going to pull it apart just a little bit, but my muscles are working right now pretty good. And then we're just going to go down under our chin and back up, but always holding that tension. So that band should really be, you should be pulling on that, yanking it, keeping this position. You should feel your upper back working. Our biceps should be working here. We're just going up and down. Let's do 10 of these together. One, two, three. For the second five, I'm gonna go behind my head. So feel free to try going behind your head too. Five, now I'm gonna go behind, same thing. Now you're working your traps a little bit more. Two more. All right, and rest, good job. And now we're back to the beginning. So we're gonna do those same four exercises. We're gonna try to go a little bit faster this time since we know what we're doing. Grab a quick, quick drink if you need one. 
So our first exercises was us standing on the band. We were using the light band, the yellow one, or a lighter band. It doesn't have to be the yellow one, but I recommend something fairly light. And all we're gonna do is go up and down, arm straight. We'll do 10 of these. Two more. Last one. All right. And now quickly shifting over to a heavier band. So for this next one, I was using my second heaviest band, which is the blue one. Now this one is band behind our back, under our armpits. We're grabbing just like this. Pinkies out, thumbs in towards the body. And this is where we're just extending our elbow. And I'm pinning that band with my arm here. For one, it keeps the band from sliding if you do that. And second, this is the form you want. You want your elbows in. So it serves two purposes. And here we go. We're going to do 10 of these. Last one and all right. Now we're going back to our light band, yellow. And this is where we're sitting on it or putting it under the chair. We're grabbing it right in the middle between where we're sitting on it and the hook or the carabiner. Thumbs out to the side, pointed out, arms straight, locked. And we're just raising up our arms to shoulder height and back down. All right, here we go. Set of 10. Couple more. Last one. And rest. And now we're going to our heavier band. So I'm going heaviest for this one. Arms above the head, shoulder width apart. Stretch that band and we're bringing it down under our chin and back up and begin. You can alternate behind the head, in front of. And last two. And rest. All right, well, that's our first portion of the workout. So now we're gonna move over to our anchor. For the anchor, I'm gonna use um, something in the middle to start off. So pick a band suitable. If you wanna go lighter, that's fine. I wouldn't go too heavy on, on these first two exercises. I'd probably stick with something in the middle or lighter. Let me grab my other chair. So please go to your anchor if you need to put your band through there. We will need handles for this one too. So I'm using my red band, that's my middle one. And 
And then here's my anchor. Anyone that's new, I'm just gonna slip the handle right through there. Okay, make sure it's even, looks even to me. I'm sitting maybe two feet away right now. All right. And I'm probably gonna wanna go a little further because you want a little bit more tension. So I'm about two and a half feet now. All right. So the move, this is the move we want. We just wanna go down from the top. Our hands are, our arms are straight and we're just gonna go straight down and back up. We're gonna stop about chest height. You might get a little bit of rubbing. There's not much we can do here. See, the band's gonna rub a little bit. You can try to hold it with your thumbs up through it, but you're still gonna get a little bit of, you're still gonna get a little bit of rub. But this is a pretty good weight. I might go a little bit heavier next time, but for first set, I'll take it. So if we're all ready, let's try to do this one together. We're gonna to do a set of 10. The key here is to keeping your arms straight because we wanna work our back. So up and down, up and down. This is working our upper back. Couple more. And last one. All right. And we're gonna go right into our next exercise. And for this next one, it's gonna be timed. We're gonna do this one for a minute. So it's gonna burn a little bit, but we're gonna use a lighter weight. I'm gonna start my timer here. I'm sticking with the red band because it's, for me, it's good. You might wanna go a little bit lighter if I'll let everyone try this first. Basically what we're doing is a chest fly. So arms out to the side and we're just gonna clap. It's like that big clap we did at warm ups. So feel free to experiment if the band works that you have Great, stick with it. If not, feel free to drop down. So I'll give you guys a few seconds and we'll get going here. If you can't go the full 60 seconds, it's okay. This is meant to, to burn the muscle out. So if you're done after 20 seconds, 30 seconds, that's fine. All right, here we go. So arms out to the side. Do not bend, try not to bend the elbow because then you're working different muscles. And we're just gonna clap and back, clap and back. By the end of the 60 seconds, you should be feeling it. So here we go, ready and begin. Go at a nice pace. You don't have to pretend like you're flying. It's nice and easy. Form is what counts here. And this exercise is working our pecs, but our back is also involved. Our shoulders are involved. Twenty seconds to go. Probably starting to feel a little of the burn now. Last one. 
And rest. All right. Good job. Good job. All right. We're going to do those two one more time. So we're, next, we're going to do the one over our head. And we're going to do this one one more time, and then we'll move on. So quick breather. And I think we're going to stay together as one group today, just because I still have a number of things we haven't gotten to. So we'll do our usual break into to groups next week because uh, I still wanted to do some some core work with you guys today. All right, about 10 seconds, then we'll do that one more time. So the first one is above our head, arm straight, just pulling down forward and up. All right, arms up. And let's begin. We're, we're only doing 10 of these, not for a minute. About halfway there. Two more. One and two. All right. And now we're going to go straight into our big clap chest fly. It's about 10 second break. And we're doing 60 seconds. One more time. All right. Arms up. And here we go. Halfway there. Ten seconds. Keep going, you guys can do it. Definitely feeling the burn. Three, two, and one. All right. Good job, everyone. So we're actually going to move right into a, an abdominal workout just because we're already seated in the right position. And it's very similar to the move we did above our head. <clears throat> so this time, we're going to hold our arms above our head. And instead of doing the arms forward, our whole body is going to bend forward. So we're just gonna rock back and forth. Well, you don't wanna rock, you wanna control yourself. So sit up, bend down, and sit back up. You don't have to go all the way down to the knees. It just depends on your range of motion. I'm actually gonna scoot myself back a tad. I find it's gonna work a little bit better. I'm not overstretching the band that way. This is much better, just that slight adjust adjustment. So arms straight up. They're about this far apart up here. So let's try 10 of these together. One, two, Two more. Last one. Oh, and rest. About a 15 second break. We're gonna do that one one more time. All right. 
right, arms up above the head. And here we go, 10 more. Three more if you're following my pace. And last one. All right. Now what I'd like for you to do is just turn your body 90 degrees. So you're sitting sideways to the anchor. Doesn't matter which way you wanna start off first, but I'm gonna move my chair I'm going to use the same band because I think this is going to be a good band for this exercise. I'm roughly three or four feet away. I'm just going to hold both the handles in one hand, cover the other hand over just like that. My arms are going to be straight. And now all I'm going to do is rotate my trunk and stretch that band. Rotate this trunk. If there's too much tension, come closer to your anchor. If you want more, do the opposite. So let's do 10 of these together. This is good for our overall core, our lower back, and our obliques. You want to go nice and slow. Two more. All right. Now I'm just going to flip myself 180 and do the same thing. Hold it my right, cuff it over with the left, and now I'm going to my left. And let's do 10 together. Two more. Oh, and rest. Now, for the last two exercises, I want you to face your anchor. So all I did was flip around, but I want to move myself back just because I want a certain amount of tension here. Adjust this. All right. So for this move, we're going to work our biceps. So we are going to get some arm work in today. I want you to grip your handles, hands up or palms up. I'm using the same red band. I think it's going to work just fine here. And I want to move my, I'm about five feet away now from the anchor. I want to keep those palms up, arms up, and we're just going to bend at the elbow and just do a curl. Again, this upper part of your arm is still, it's not moving. You're just bending at the elbow. My hands are pretty close together, like about that, only a few inches space. And I'm just curling to my shoulders and returning. So we're gonna do these for 60 seconds, just like the other one. You're gonna feel these at the end. And here we go. Let's begin. Again, form is more important than how many you can do. You can also do these just one arm. Halfway.
15 seconds. Three, two, and one. All right. Feels good to stop. <laughs> but we're going to do that one one more time. It's not over yet. But this time, we're just going to switch our grips up. So instead of palms up, our palms are going to be in. So it's going to look like that. And you're going to do this motion. And this is going to slightly alter the part of the bicep we're working. So I'll give you guys about 15 seconds to kind of recover. We did a lot there. And we're gonna do that one one more time. And it's nice because these handles kind of slide inside the loop, so. Get it so you're comfortable. Then we're just gonna go back and forward just like that. All right, here we go. Minute on the clock. And let's begin. These are hammer curls. Halfway. Fifteen seconds. Feel that blood flowing in your arms. Get that pump. Three. Two and one. All right, and relax. We have one more exercise left and then that's gonna be it for the day. We're gonna stay in the same position we're currently sit sitting in. Uh, for this next one, I'm gonna want you to hold your arms out, but palms down. And these are called face pulls. So you wanna pull towards your face. This is what it would look like from the front view, I'd have my hands like this and I'd pull right here. So my face is in between my, excuse me, in between my hands at the end. So from here to here. This is gonna work our shoulders, our back, and right here, the traps. We're only gonna do one set of these. We're gonna do it for 60 seconds and you will feel this one, I promise you. So here we go, 60 seconds on the clock. Arms out and we're pulling. Try to pull towards your face. Get those elbows behind your head at the end. Nice long motion. Extend your arms all the way out and pull all the way back. Halfway there. Fifteen seconds and we're done for the day. Five, four, three, Two and last one. All right, and rest. Good job, everyone. Hopefully you all hung in there.